And now to New York's 24th Congressional District, where it's been a back and forth slugfest between incumbent Republican Congressman John Ketko, Democratic challenger Dana Balter. We have team coverage in this 2018 rematch with News Channel Lines Adrian Smith and Josh Martin. We begin with Josh, who's live at a polling site at St. Michael's Church in Camillus. Josh. The 24th congressional race is one of the tightest in the country. It's a rematch from 2018, Congressman John Katko versus Dana Balter. The congressman has been towing a fine line during this campaign, which he says he is proud of. He has been also distancing himself from President Trump. Katko said that he did endorse Trump, though he's said several times that he doesn't necessarily like Trump as a person, more based on his policies is for his endorsement. And as our viewers know, there have been plenty of attack ads in this race. There have been so many in the past few weeks, Balter and Katko not pulling any punches. Today, the congressman had a busy day, traveling to all four counties which he currently serves, Wayne, Cayuga, Onondaga, and Oswego. Katko is applying for the job for the 24th congressional seat for the fourth time. We spoke with him earlier today, asking him if he wished he did anything different along the campaign trail. Not at all. I mean, now listen, I, we've done everything we possibly can. I'm totally at peace with whatever happens because I've done everything I can, and I, I've got a lot of faith in the voters. I do. As we mentioned, this is a rematch from 2018. Democrat Dana Balter taking a second swing at John Katko for that seat. With the Balter campaign is News Channel 9's Adrian Smith. Adrian joins us now from Syracuse. Josh, similar to Congressman Katko, Dana Balter, his challenger, also had a busy election day, really just engaging, engaging in a lot of voter outreach, even with some undecided voters. Her first stop is an election day tradition, and she stopped at the mother's cupboard in Syracuse and then she as an election day tradition she stopped there and Balter voted last week on the first day of early voting but she made her way to her own polling location the spiritual renewal center in Syracuse and that was a way for her to stop and thank the pollers and say uh, thank you to the volunteers. Now, we had the chance to speak with her there and asked how the pandemic has impacted her campaign strategy and getting voters to the polls. I feel really good about this election. I am confident that we have made the case to voters about what is at stake in this race. I think that's one of the sort of bonuses that was unexpected in um, having to campaign virtually is that we were able to bring new people into the political process. And it's one of the reasons why even after life is back to quote unquote normal, I'm going to keep using these tactics. Now, instead of those large in-person gatherings that we're all used to on election night, Balter, like many other candidates, will be just with close family and friends and campaign staff as we all see those results trickle in. Live at Nottingham High School, Adrian Smith, News Channel 9. Let's break down the 24th district race for Congress. It covers all of Onondaga, Cayuga, Wayne County, and parts of Oswego County and including the cities of Fulton and Oswego. Now, two years ago, the 24th fell, much like the presidential race did in 2016. Balter and the Democrats win Onondaga County, as did Hillary Clinton. Balter with a nearly 3,800 vote advantage right here, 90,630 to 86,833 right there over John Katko. But Katko, the Republican, takes Cayuga, Wayne, and that part of Oswego County that falls in the 24th, all of which were red in 2016. Look at the win for, for Katko in Wayne County right there. Decisive, 6,800 votes, his biggest win. But he takes Cayuga County by about 5,700 votes and gains a nearly 5,000 vote advantage in Oswego County there. So when you add it all up, John Katko beat Dana Balter by about 13,700 votes, and he keeps his seat for another term in Congress. Now, many polls, many experts have this race as a toss-up. We'll see what the numbers are tonight. But also remember, there could be as many as 90,000 absentee ballots to be counted in this race alone. Cayuga will start first on Saturday, Onondaga Monday, Oswego a week from today, Wayne County not until November 16th, almost two weeks from today.